Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending where on earth you're joining us today for our first ever Earth 300 Impact Talks. This is going to be our first episode, and today we're going to focus on a very special theme dealing with multidisciplinary initiatives and their impact on sustainability and climate change today. We have lined up 21 amazing speakers from you coming from all over the world who will be giving their three minutes intervention before I will ask my colleague Sarah Baikum, also from London, to give them targeted questions collected from our audiences. After that, I will be asking our founder and CEO of Earth 300, Alon Oravera, who will give us a historical approach of where we're going in the next decade and what Earth 300 is all about. I'm very delighted to also share that Earth 300, Worldview Impact Foundation and Earth Bank are going to be working together with local communities in the Sundarbans of India to plant 300,000 trees this year with local partners, local donors and local corporates in India to restore the forest of the type, hence creating a natural defense shield for communities living by the sea in the most high risk zones of the world from climate-induced storms and hurricanes and tsunamis and floods, thereby protecting livelihoods of the very poor and the most vulnerable in that part of India and Bangladesh, and also protecting the habitat of the Royal Bengal Tiger. We know there are only 3,500 tigers left in the wild, but 300 of them have adapted to the swamps and they are called the swamp tigers. So I'm very honored to say that we are joining forces with Earth 300 and other partners to restore this very precious ecosystem, which is the largest mangrove forest on our planet. Having said that, I want to thank all our speakers who have contributed their time, their energies, their expertise, and he, they will be sharing their experiences, but also their challenges and their battle against climate change and addressing the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals by a target date of 2030. Having said that, again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board to our first episode, and I'm gonna give the floor to Aaron Oliveira. Thank you so much, and have a great conversation. Hello, friends, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the first installment of our Earth 300 Impact Talks. The kind of conversations we'll be having here today online are the kind of conversations that eventually we will be having about a 300 meter state of the art exploration, innovation and scientific vessel on its way to Antarctica. Earth 300 was born out of a need to protect our planet, but really more accurately and more truthfully, it was born out of a need to protect ourselves. Antonio Gutierrez, the United Nations chief, recently stated that we're standing on the verge of climate abyss with extreme heat poised to cause more death, more destruction and more displacement than all of the wars of history combined. The picture is not pretty. We need change, the monumental kind. We need to inspire an era of ecological imagining. We need to galvanize humanity to take big, bold leaps. We need everybody's help and that's where multidisciplinarity comes in. Now, Leonardo da Vinci said that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication, but really nothing is that simple. In a single atom lies a complex labyrinth of structures and codes that drive and organize the entire universe. When an atom shakes, the whole universe vibrates. So really nothing is independent. Carl Sagan, the famous planetary scientist and cosmologist, uh, equipped that if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. So multidisciplinarity is into everything that we do. And today you'll hear from an esteemed panel of experts and leaders in their fields of why they believe that holistic thinking and, and multidisciplinarity is essential in order for us to build a truly sustainable world. Um, now at Earth 300, this is the ethos that we believe in and we've been able and privileged to attract an incredible uh, talented pool of individuals. Uh, so I'd like to thank our, our team who formed the DNA of our organization, our advisors who are spread all over the world and whose expert insights and faith have allowed us to get this far, our partners who have allowed us to technologically progress in terms of the project and, and, the, and the ship. Uh, design and, and all of the technical elements to it, the media which has been incredibly supportive, we've had articles in over 50 countries, um, the, the, the global population who have, has reached out to us um, and whose enthusiasm fuels us for the journey, 
Um, and finally, I'd like to also thank Sarah, Sarah Begum, who will be moderating this panel, Bremli Lindo, who's chairing the, 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 uh, the session, and also Wakas Ahmed, who's our chief interdisciplinary officer, and he will talk about, we need, about how we need to move from multidisciplinarity to interdisciplinarity, which means that not only do different perspectives need to coexist, multi at the same time, but also we need to make new creations and new connections and pathways with those different disciplines coming together. As Steve Jobs said, creativity is simply connecting the dots. So I hope that these talks will inspire you to connect your own dots and we hope to, to continue to see you in the future and um, please join us for, for the talks and for the quest. Thank you.